When determining contract damages, you don't always need a contract. As we'll see in Campbell v. Tennessee Valley Authority, plaintiffs can still have a road to recovery, even if there's not a valid contract. Earl Daniel, the director of the Tennessee Valley Authority, or TVA, Technical Library, entered into an oral agreement with Robert Campbell for the production of microfilm of 18 sets of technical trade journals. Campbell photographed and developed the journals pursuant to the agreement and delivered them to the technical library, where they remained on the shelves and available for approximately two months. When Campbell sought payment of the $30,240 agreement price, he was told that Daniel had no authority to enter into the agreement on behalf of the technical library. Campbell filed suit against the technical library, which in turn joined Daniel as a third-party defendant. The initial complaint was for a contract action and was later amended to be based on quantum merit, also known as a contract implied in law. The technical library appealed to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, contending that the district court erred by instructing the jury that the measure of damages was the fair market value of the microfilm that benefited the technical library.